So I'm going to show you very quickly how to install um, K3S to a Raspberry Pi 4. Now this is going to be running um, Ubuntu 20. I've set it up earlier just by flashing the image to it and changing the Ubuntu default user password. So here we are on the terminal. I do actually know what the IP address is and I'm using SSH to connect to this. Now when I enter my password, we can see that it's connected just fine. Um, there's some updates that we can install, but basically we know the IP address. But um, I don't think we have any kind of trace of K3S on this. We don't have Kubernetes yet. The first step is to use the copy ID command. This will put my public key onto the Raspberry Pi so that now I don't have to log in with a password to connect and that would allow Ketchup or K3S up to connect and install K3S and bring back a cube config file for us. So first of all, um, the best way to use this is probably to um, first of all check if we are up to date and this is version 096. I think there's a newer version. So I'm just literally running the installation script again. We can get that from Ketchup version and Ketchup update. Now we're slightly newer version and we can use the install command help. Now the basic way this works is using an IP address and a user. Well, we know from our previous SSH command, the IP address is ending 23 and the user is Ubuntu. Now we already have the key in there, so that will come and save that down for us. We're gonna do something a bit more fun, a bit more useful than the normal way of using Ketchup where you get a, a plain cube config in your current directory. We're gonna actually merge this in to my cube config and all my clusters I'm managing. So we need to use this local path and I'm going to use a dollar home cube because that's where the cube config effectively is going to live. Now it also looks like we need to put the, the name of it as well, so config. Now what happens with K3S is every time you install it, the context is called default. We actually want to call this something more descriptive because we just end up with overwriting the default setting. I'm going to call it K3S Ubuntu RPI 4. Incidentally, this actually has four gigs of RAM as well. Now, there's a K3S version I can give. There's also um, a whole bunch of channels. Now, we could just go and use the latest channel if we want to experiment. This is probably going to be Kubernetes 119. Now let me just check all these settings. So we're going to install to that IP address, user of Ubuntu, the local path is my current cube config, um, take a backup, do take a backup. Now there's one important command that we're missing here, which is this merge, because otherwise we don't do the merge, we'll just overwrite it and we have to regenerate all of those cube configs again. And I'm pretty sure this is all we need now. So let's just try that out. Okay, so we're actually streaming data back from SSH, the SSH connection to the Raspberry Pi right now. And it says the latest channel was actually 119 patch 2. And this is just pulling down the binary. The binary is pretty big for K3S, but it's also great because it's self-contained. This includes container D, which is instead of Docker. You can use Docker if you want for an argument, for a flag. What else does it have in there? It has Flannel, which is a networking driver. Now there is a slight chance that this will fail because what you tend to need to do is enable C groups um, on a Raspberry Pi. That's a way of partitioning up the memory and CPU. So if this fails, we'll know why. We'll go and change the setting and come back. Yeah, so like expected, it did fail because we need that setting on. And actually it gives you this option here of looking at all of the latest uh, messages or, or just at K3S. So we already have SSH enabled. Let's go and have a quick look. Now, 
does it give us much data here? Here we are. Failed to find um, C group and memory. Now it doesn't exist in boot command line on a Raspberry Pi when you're running Ubuntu Linux. So let's just find out where it is. And this should just sort us out. Boot firmware config. So let's have a look for boot. We got firmware. Now that's the config. I think actually we need the command line if we've still got that. Great. Now um, I have a blog post K3S will it cluster and we can just copy and paste the C group setting from there. You must be careful that you don't add a new line when you do this. It all has to be on the same line and oh, it looks like we need to edit that file as sudo. Let's give it a quick reboot and hopefully by the time that's back up again we'll get um, the K3S service started and we'll get our cube config back. Now because that failed to install completely, that merge didn't happen. What we can actually do is just use this skip install setting and that will, again, it will connect, it will run the, um, the steps on the remote computer to get the cube config, but it will not actually do a reinstall. That could be really useful, for instance, if you actually lost your cube config or you moved to another computer. In Google Kubernetes engine, there's a nice UI and you can click a button to get these back. With Ketchup, you can just run an install again and use the skip install setting. Now, are we up and running yet? We are. Excellent. Great. So, this isn't something that you, would, you wouldn't have had to do with a Raspberry Pi. You still do have to edit this file on every computer. It's just that it changes the location. So it's bin, uh, it looks like it was boot firmware or firmware boot. Great. So now we actually need to go into the cube context and find the one we just added. Here it is. And now let's get the pods. We should just see the one. Yep. Age 80 seconds. It's up and running. We've got that internal IP address. And we see if we can get some pods. All the namespaces. Now they are currently creating and gradually running. Now that means that the container images are being pulled down and started up. If we look at the events, we'll see these gradually um, dropping down. We've pulled an image, we've started it. There's only one computer to run it on at the moment, so they're all gonna be on here. The scheduling is quite simple. And here we go, we've got some more messages coming in. Great. So let's just take a look at what the commands were again. Skip install can be used with ketchup install to just pull the cube config file back again. We've got the IP address, we've got the user, and remember we copied our SSH key in before. We've got a local path, a context name, and this is because we might want more than one K3S cluster and we don't want them all to be called default. And then we've got the channel. The channel latest will pull down Kubernetes 119 at the moment and we're merging the new cube config into our existing one, not just splatting over the top. And again, we've got this option at the end. If you have more than one Raspberry Pi, you can also use the join command. And again, it uses very similar com um, command line parameters, except for you add the server IP, which is the initial computer, and then the IP is where you want to install. So I hope you found this useful. You can get ketchup swag um, in the store, store.openfast.com. You can go and get ketchup at k3sup.dev. Go and have a play with it. Let me know what you think. Thanks.